Hello everyone, this is Esan. In this video, we are going to use the Stanford C++ library uh, to get integer values from the user and uh, take two integer from the user, add them up and print the, print the result. So that is the idea. So for that, what we need to do is uh, we need to first uh, get the first value. So we will have to ask the user for the first value. The way we do it is we say C out console out uh, enter x, which is the first value. Then I do end l, and then we can say also C out um, the string is enter y, um, and uh, we do this end l. So now um, we know how. To display to the user that please input x and then input y now since we are going to add two integers we need to somehow get those two integers from the uh, user and the way we are going to do is not the usual way c++ does it we are going to use the stanford c c++ library uh, to get the integer in a proper way so for that we go to chrome and we can do Stanford C++ library and it goes to this library and we search um, simp.io which is simple IO and if you go there you can see that it gives us um, a way to get integer however in order to use this thing we have to use simpio as the include we have to add simpio in the include or we how can we say it we have to include the simpio.h file because we are going to use this function so for that what we do is basically we go up and we do this include control v then quotation over here so we have now included the simpio.h uh, file now what we can do is we can say int we first initialize x to be um, so we are going to get the value and save it into x um, so get integer and you can see qt is already trying to help you out so you just press tab and it auto completes the rest and then we copy it and then we go here and paste it and then save the value of the second integer to y uh, what happens is that uh, in the console it will ask for an integer when you give the integer and press enter it will the integer that you enter will be saved to x that is how this thing works um, after that what we can do is we can save the result in result is equal to x plus y and then what we can do is we can print the result so c out um, x plus uh, y um, is equal to result and l uh, and l with a semicolon so it seems that it should work so we first get the first value um, we basically get the second value we add and save the result mm, we display the output so it seems fine uh, this is the Stanford specific header file. So Stanford um, specific uh, Stanford C C++ Header file that we are using um, Okay, it seems to be working. Let's see X plus Y is equal to result. Okay, perfect. Let's run this control R 
and it shows up so it says enter x I say I have to put an integer so I put 6 it takes the value of 6 saves into x then I put 6.7 but now 6.7 is a real number not an integer what happens is it says it's an illegal integer format try again so unless I actually provide an integer it is going to prompt me again and again and again uh, that is the idea um, and the thing that you want to use for the reprompt is different than the one that you are prompting initially uh, you can change this if you want uh, I will show you how but uh, let's say we give the second value to be 6 and the result is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 now there are two problems you see the prompt was given here for the X we actually want the prompt to show up here it looks as a, it is a nicer design in order to change that what we do is basically we go and remove this endel seems fine over here we remove this part over here the other endel and what we do is basically in the first case I can say enter X so this is the prompt that we set um, and I can say um, properly enter X please uh, just uh, to help you understand what I'm actually doing uh, I will run this code I will remove this part I will run this code and change this to Y. I will change this to Y and I will change this to Y. Um, and let's run this. And you see, it does something like that. Um, and I say 6.7 and I press enter and it says no. Please properly enter X. Oh, actually what I made, I did a small mistake. I could actually give a proper comment and say uh, let's say please uh, enter an integer um, I copy this and uh, I do this I run it again and let's see how this works out so what happened was maybe somewhere there is an output um, where is the output so here I remove this force quit and I run it again so I say 6.7 and it says please enter an integer because if not it was not an integer I say 6 it says okay I say 6 7.8 7 7.8 it says please enter an integer because it's not an integer I say 7 and it says okay so the result is 6 plus 7 is equal to 13 I hope you understand this code and this is your first introduction to the Stanford library and um, if you go here you can actually also get lines you can get real values uh, so floating point numbers you can also get some kind of a boolean over here you will have to really read this thing uh, quickly and you will be able to understand what it does thank you